So James, you continue as uh, Newcastle Falcons captain for next season. Um, obviously delighted. Yeah, I was very, you know, very proud to be asked to do it last year, and, and even more so now to be asked to carry on doing the job again for another year. Uh, really looking forward to it again. And you stood in front of the Tyne Bridge. How uh, how proud does that make you feel to be leading a club like Newcastle? Oh, massively. I, I love the city. I, you know, I never quite anticipated that I'd, I'd settle so quickly here and, and enjoy life up here so much. And, it's a great city, we you know all the boys, you know, especially the new lads that have joined us have settled very quickly as well. They love the place and we're very, very proud of the city that we represent and all the people here. And it's uh, the first chance Newcastle Falcons TV has had a chance to, to speak to you in pre-season uh, before the season starts. Um, how has the pre-season gone? Pre-season's been excellent. Um, Andy Smith's done a tremendous job again of organising the conditioning side of things and joined with Kevin McShane as well. Um, Callum McRae's addition in the, in the coaching team has been a great addition. The work he's done with players, working on our skill, uh, skill levels, and the first, especially the first four weeks of uh, the pre-season with him has been excellent. I think we saw you know, glimpses of those, those efforts in the sevens, in the win that we had in the sevens a couple of weeks ago now, and, and generally the whole squad skill level I think has, has risen thanks to Kitty spending a lot of quality time with the other coaches as well. What has head coach um, Alan Tate had to say during pre-season um, on the back of last, uh, the last campaign? Um, we haven't spoken a great deal about it, to be honest. I think the players who were who were part of it knew how hard it was and, and how tough and tough a year it was. Um, and we, we want to get away from that very, very quickly. There's no dwelling on it. Um, we've we've cracked on straight away with it, with approaching the new season and working on getting better as a group. And the new additions have been have been very, very comfortable straight away with us. And I think we've you know, we've enjoyed a good ten weeks together. You mentioned the new additions. Some of them making an appearance uh, against Glasgow on Friday. Um, who impressed you most? I think there were a lot of lot of lot of good good new faces out there. I think Jamie Haller did a great job. I think he, he really showed what he can bring bring to that 12 shirt and, and, and that he wants that. Um, I think he was excellent. I think Jordi Pasquale and Will Chudley both came on and played well at nine, as did Chris Bergen when he got his chance. I think that's going to be a really good battle for that nine shirt this year between those three guys. Um, and following the game um, on Friday night at Glasgow, um, here you went on some team building exercise in the Lake District. Um, how was that? It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. There were a few of us who had a few little niggles that couldn't participate in like the physical stuff, but we all we were all there and we all spent two or three days together, which was excellent. You know, it's really important for us to spend time away from the training pitch with each other, and it was a good good time. We did a few little challenges, a few team team building exercises. Um, you know, our raft our raft did pretty well compared to the other boys. So that was quite good fun. Um, yeah, it was a lot of lot of fun together. And team spirit seems to be um, a lot better than last season. Yeah, would you say? No, I think there was no point last year that you could knock the spirit or the commitment from any of the players. And I think everybody was you know, completely committed to what we were doing. Um, I think it's always easier at this time of year because obviously the, comp the competitive side of it hasn't quite begun yet. But the lads have made a, a concerted effort to improve, improve the environment with the players and. And the new lads have settled in very, very quickly thanks to that. You know, we're doing a lot more socially together, which is important. And on a lighter note, um, do you get opportunities to come down and see these sort of landmarks and, and um, socialise within the city? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice. You know, I've got family up at the moment um, coming up to visit. And, and you know, we'll, we'll come into the city and spend some time and I'll come and look at the markets down the quayside on a Sunday morning. Just, just enjoy the things the place has to offer. You know, it's great to always get out in the city, but also out into the countryside and get up the coast. Really love it up there. Spend quite a bit of time up there when we can, especially when we've got family coming up to visit.